Hi, welcome back. My name is Michelle and you're watching Michelle's Life. Today's video is the Spring Cleaning Book Tag. This tag was originally created by Jen over at Books Europe and I was tagged by Alex over at Books and Me. So thank you again Alex for tagging me. This seems like a really fun tag and I had fun filming these answers. The first question is the struggle of getting started. A book or book series that you have struggled to begin and uh, because of its size. A book that I am struggling with the idea of starting or just picking up in general is A Little Life by Hagi Yonagahara. Um, it's, it's big and I've also heard it tackles tough topics so this is definitely something that makes me feel like spring cleaning. It's just it's a little stressful approaching it but I know it's gonna be worth it in the end just like spring cleaning. Number two is cleaning out the closet. A book or a book series you want to unhaul. And I had a little bit of a hard time with this one but I did recently unhaul the Divergent series. Not because it wasn't enjoyable, I did enjoy reading it the first time and I have good memories of reading it with my husband. It's just I don't see myself rereading it again and um, so I got rid of it. Spring cleaning. Number three is opening the windows and letting the fresh air in. A book that was refreshing. So I know a lot of people say they don't normally read YA contemporary romance stories and I've noticed that I do read a lot of YA contemporary but not so much YA contemporary romance stories but I picked up Morgan Matson when I first started watching booktube videos and I didn't know what to expect from her but I didn't necessarily think I was gonna like her so why'd you buy the book? I don't know. But I absolutely loved Amy and Roger's epic detour. I read this while I was on vacation last year and it just gives me the warm and fuzzies thinking about that vacation and thinking about reading this book and it was just a breath of fresh air compared to a lot of the darker, more dense reading materials that I tend to normally read. So I definitely really enjoyed reading this and it was a breath of fresh air. Number four is washing out sheet stains. <laughs> A book you wish you could rewrite a scene in. And for this one, I don't have any that I can think of, so I don't have an answer for that one. Number five is throwing out unnecessary knickknacks. A book in a series that you didn't feel was necessary. And this isn't a book in a series, but novellas in a series. And I would have to say the novellas for the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy. Sorry, you can hear my daughter yelling in the background. She learned how to walk and she thinks it's the greatest thing in the world, so she screams while she does it. Anyway, the novellas that accompany this series I borrowed from the library and they just, they didn't seem to offer anything else to my reading experience of the trilogy, so I don't think it's necessary to read them. Number six is Polishing the Doorknobs. I don't think I've ever polished a doorknob. A book that had a clean finish. And for this I'm gonna go with a book that I felt like the whole novel was kind of clean in the sense that everything was a little too perfect. And I'm gonna go with Nina Elcor's Everything Leads to You. Everything so neatly came together for the main character and I know because it's a queer fiction that might sound like prejudice, that's not what I mean by it at all. If it were a straight novel I would feel the same way, it just seemed very unrealistic for a high school student to fall into this situation and get everything perfect and I don't know but anyway it came together cleanly in a nice little bow. Number seven is Reaching to Dust the Fan, a book that tried too hard to re relay a certain message. For this I'm going to go with Patrick Ness's The Rest of Us Just Live Here. This book is basically about all of the people that aren't heroes get their it might be a little spoilery, there is one hero-like character among the group and throughout reading this book he's the one you wind up loving the most anyway so it seems like Patrick Ness's purpose of you falling for the normal Joes of the book didn't actually work because you still wind up liking the hero. Number eight, a tiring yet satisfying finish of a spring cleaning. A book series that was tiring yet satisfying to get through. And I haven't actually finished this series yet, but I know that this is how I'm going to feel about it in the end. And that is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Um, these are chunky books and they're kind of dense sometimes, so it does take a while to get through them. But it is completely worth it. Uh, I am absolutely loving this series. I've read this first one and I'm halfway through the second one, but I, I absolutely love it. 
and I love the fact that I can actually read it pretty quickly um, even though it's full of action scenes and I read about normally 50 pages an hour but for these because they're so action-packed I find myself flying through the book at more like 60 to 70 pages an hour so I think that's amazing and I feel like it's a little like spring cleaning too because once you start you're really slow at cleaning and then once you get into it it picks up pretty quickly so I think it is quite a time commitment but it's completely worth it and I absolutely love this series thank you Karen all right number nine is looking forward to next spring maybe but not looking forward to next spring cleaning um tag four people i'm going to tag sylvia at wish fulfillment jade at bedtime bookworm and caitlin at book chats i didn't have a fourth person i wanted to tag but if you haven't done this tag and it sounded like fun you should do it and let me know that you've completed it and i will go check it out so that was it for the spring cleaning tag. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all haven't worked too hard with your spring cleaning because I know I haven't. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Bye!